For the first time since taking over as Atletico de Madrid true leader, Joao Felix took on Barcelona and Leo Messi. The Portuguese rising start played a quiet game. Barcelona contained him perfectly in the midfield and he wasn't able to provide any assist or create any chances at all, but he was smart with the ball. He only had 9 turnovers and he completed 91% of his passes. Joao had a mission in the game and he did his part helping Atletico de Madrid to control the game against Barcelona. The landscape of the game was very different from previous matches between those two, and the possession, for example, was basically even. Atletico de Madrid did control the game, but without Luis Suarez, Barcelona's defense was able to focus on Joao Felix. The Portuguese player was a non-factor inside the area. He was close on a couple of chances. But Barcelona's defenders or Ter Stegen showed up a second earlier than the Portuguese player. It was supposed to be Joao's night, but it ended up being Yannick Carrasco's one. He had the game winner for Atletico de Madrid in another bad night for Leo Messi. The Argentinian player struggled all night long against Atletico de Madrid. He only created one clear chance with a cross to Lenglet, but the French player missed it. Lionel Messi was once again a turnover machine. He turned the ball over 23 times, the most in the game, creating a lot of trouble for his teammates and for their defensive system. This Barcelona side is not well prepared to run backwards, and that happens a lot after Messi's turnovers. For the entire season he's been a non-factor in the area, and he was once again against Atletico de Madrid. He had one clear chance, but Oblak emerged and he made a key save. Messi has only scored one goal in open play in the entire season, and he's only scored six goals on open play in the last 40 games. The Argentinian looks frustrated, and his set-piece ability has gone too. In his last 51 attempts, he's only scored one free kick at age 33, and with a lot of turmoil in Barcelona, Messi's twilight seems a clear thing at this point.